I'm loving the way this thing's turning out, but before we got too far, I wanted to show you some of the bells and whistles and what's going on. The challenge with the power head is it does this. Water pushes from this direction and then sucks, obviously, from the back underside of this. So in normal application, power head would sit like this. It would pull water from back here and then push water here. What I was worried about, if I'm pulling a lot of water from this area down in here, the leaves and debris get kind of confused on where to go. And I want all of that stuff to go this way and then ultimately over flow through our waterfall. how great this is going to be from inside the house that is framed right and that's a good four foot drop coming down right there so you get to see it from all the windows inside the house What are you doing? I forgot to wear shorts today. You do realize it's like July 24th. So wait, wait, wait. wait. You caught me in a lie. I, I don't have any clean shorts. So you're making your own shorts? I'm, I'm making some shorts. I think you just wear it like that, bro. Okay. You're like LL Cool J from like circa <laughs> 1994. Remember that guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and adults and kids alike out there, when you're building your pond, be sure to take the time in the preparation stage of excavation. It's kind of weird that Brian all of a sudden disappears after being out here by himself for the last few days excavating. Once the heavy work comes in, he's gone. It's been a couple weeks since we've been out here. We pulled off the job to go do some smaller projects. Now we're back out here, and I just wanted to kind of show you the progress and where we're at with our Downers Grove project. I'm loving the way this thing's turning out, but before we got too far, I wanted to show you some of the bells and whistles and what's going on. So here we go, really different for us, but here's that wall. So the wall's almost done. We're gonna stop at this elevation because I actually have some stairs that are gonna come on on this, and then this will continue up and around those stairs. We've got stairs that come right from the back door. So there's a deck that comes out over this, kind of cantilevers out. And then what I wanna do is recess the stairs back into that deck a little bit, really inviting you to come down into this space. This whole wall is there for two reasons. One, to hide the rubber liner. Two, and more importantly, to actually give us supports for this deck foundation to sit on. So later as we get into that, I'll kind of show you the details on that. And you can see Juan, Ryan, and Matt over there working on our stack slate walls. So those are coming in, and those will come all the way up, probably about six feet high, ultimately hiding the hot tub that'll sit on the back side. So let's go down there and show you kind of some of the details that are going on with this. So we have these power heads down here, and I really wanted to get some movement up along the base of this wall. Wall. They'll serve as two purposes. One, to kind of circulate water along this area. Two, it'll keep a hole open in the ice right out in front of these stairs through kind of the winter and everything. The challenge with the power head is it does this. Water pushes from this direction and then sucks, obviously, from the back underside of this. So in normal application, power head would sit like this. It would pull water from back here and then push water here. What I was worried about, if I'm pulling a lot of water from this area down in here, the leaves and debris get kind of confused on where to go and I want all of that stuff to go this way and then ultimately overflow through our waterfall. So this is something new and it's just an experimental thing. This is why we have construction, more R&D than any other reason. By placing these three power heads in here, I'm not gonna be drawing water from the area here. I'm gonna be drawing from the water that's in the pipe. The pipe ultimately pulls then all the way from a snorkel centipede that sits over here. Now I'm drawing water from an area where normally we'd be drawing water as it pulls over here. So having all my draw in the same area of the pond, this area and then that area and then everything pushing from other areas historically always works better for us. So I think it'll be a much better way for us to install these power heads and pretty cost effective. You know, the drainage pipe is not expensive. The six inch T's, no big deal. And we'll see how it works. The other thing we're gonna do is if you see this green pipe that comes up through the wall, we're gonna put two more power heads pushing out just below water level. And I've got that pipe then gonna be internalized inside these walls to do that. So as we get closer to that, I'll show you the details on that as well. Goal today, get these stacked walls in, finish off this wall where it meets up into that, get a couple rocks to kind of finish some other areas off. Exciting, loving the progress.
what day it is, but it feels like day four-ish. Day four? That's what they said, day four. <laughs> We're out here moving right along. I'll turn it around, show you the progress. Really, really, really loving this job. Really, really, really loving this job. This is coming together awesome, the way it's all just kind of falling apart. And we have a special appearance by my bald-headed friend down there. Hmm? <laughs> So Ed and I, it's awesome when we got a bunch of talent out here. Ed and I are strapping and slinging rocks, so we're just kind of working off of here. We've got Matt and Matt, Matt times two, working on our stack slate walls. You can see Matt B working on a template so we can paint those fittings. I'm definitely gonna come back and explain this and those and everything a little bit later. Remember, that's that stack slate walls. We've also got Jonathan out from Boston. What's the company name, Jonathan? Out of? Dovermass. Dovermass, Boston. Boss, bass. <laughs> A lot of talent there, and so it's awesome that he's just kind of running with our second course. This is that staircase that's gonna go up to the deck. We got Ryan, who's no longer the new guy because he's got three days under his belt. Tons of experience there, and Udi shuffling some dirt in and out of here. So a lot of things going on, but kind of a quick overview. Set some boulders yesterday. We've got our big wall in. First course, the steps is in. Easily, we'll set that second course today, and hopefully another boulder or two. All right, it's Brian at Team Aquascape. We are back here, it is Monday morning. We have a solid four days out here at our Downers Grove job. We pulled off a couple days last week uh, to put out some fires, but uh, we're back at it and I'm loving the progress. So I'll just kind of flip this around, show you the progress and then what our plan is today. So you can see where we're at. Stacked walls are starting to go in. Water level actually comes up pretty high on those things. So if you can see the power heads off in the distance there, the water level is about six inches above those power heads. So it actually comes halfway up that stone. I still want to explain these power heads for you, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I'm excited about something else. As we started putting these stairs in, it just looked like a, first they look really cool, but I think it's just too vast of an area. So I want to break it up with a boulder. So Chris is back with us this week. He's our master cutter. So I got a great job for him, but I want to cut in a boulder right up here just to break up kind of the monotony of this space right in here and the rock we've got is one that's been left over for gosh i don't know how long have we been sitting with this rock chris six years five years a long time a long time we had a whole semi -load yeah over. so greg had a semi load of these rocks brought in for us they're big giant granite boulders with the bottoms cut off and the tops or bottom and top but we're going to put that over in there it'll end up serving as almost like a little coffee table if you sit down at, on the step next to the pond so we've got to strap that that thing up bring it over here and get it set into this area here which means moving a couple rocks and then cutting it to fit right here and that's why we have him <laughs> it'll look great I know it's some extra work but it's all about the extra 10% and that's going maybe 15% more which is important to us 20, that's 25% that's 25 <laughs> that's a total of 25% yeah and then we'll start building that waterfall at some point uh, this week after I explain to you the power heads and everything else so I don't know if you can hear that. The skies are looking a little, a little scary. And that's a tornado siren. So I think we're gonna cut our day a little short. Uh, the tornado sirens behind me are saying, uh, maybe we should cut it off early today. So we're cleaning up. We got some stuff done though. Look at the difference that makes with that rock in there. And then Chris, Udi and I started setting some more boulders back in through here. And uh, Matt's still working on the planter box over there. So not a total waste of a day, but weather is coming and we got kind of where we wanted to and for just a little past lunchtime not so bad we'll be back at it tomorrow and we'll uh see what this storm brings in and what the conditions are, are going to look like tomorrow hey guys <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know what's more exciting setting the first rock at the pond seeing it kind of come together you've been visualizing this thing for three years and now it's actually coming to reality i really want to see a four foot high waterfall four and a half foot high waterfall someplace and i've got this massive rock and it might work out to our advantage especially over the pond. Mm. Like, like, back up a little. Ah, we should have Juan stand next to this thing to see. I mean, I bet he's shorter than the rock. This project is turning out incredible and we are having a blast putting it together.
We've got a big waterfall coming down through those two rocks over there, which will have a totally different effect than the big waterfall over on the side. Look at how great this is gonna be from inside the house. That is framed, right? And that's a good four foot drop coming down right there. So you get to see it from all the windows inside the house. 